going on guys welcome back to another video i know i've been gone a while i haven't posted a while but i'm back so today's video uh i'm just gonna be taking gizmo go squirrel hunting it is squirrel season um it's back squirrel season it's just a little short squirrel season in the month of may here here in north carolina i got the s10 here and i also while i haven't been posting i've put a doll box in the back of it so we're gonna load gizmo up in the doll box and take him down the road to the train tracks and we're gonna go squirrel hunt so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video Check this out, guys. If I can get down here without dying. Gizmo, Gizmo. You just step right on the snapper turtle. You know. Try to rock the snapper turtle, guys. Oh, oh. oh there we go. Whoa, mean little sucker. Well, check that out, guys. Okay, I'm trying to bite you. That is a, uh, some kind of snapper turtle. I don't, it's just a snapper turtle. Look at him, he's angry. You don't like me? It's pretty cool. Didn't expect to climb on there. <laughs> we'll name him Jimmy. Woohoo! Let's comment W Jimmy. What are you doing, big boy? What are you doing? I'm not hurting him by no means. He's just mad. He don't want me to touch him. And this ain't no kind of dangerous. I'm putting him back. He's safe. He's going to dig in the ground and hide. Oh! Yep, that was pretty cool, though. I ain't ran Gizmo in a while, so he really don't know what to do. I haven't ran him since, you know, whenever my last video was, the coyote video. I've let him out a couple times. Just let him out of his pen, let him run around the yard. Every once in a while, he'll hear him bark. From my backyard but that's it he hasn't actually been somewhere to go home not yet not so soon at least so i figured i didn't have any other content any other you know anything else to do so so i just took him out here check this out guys look at that little baby snapping turtle right there you all see him little baby snapping turtle Right there. Oh, without getting my GPS in the water. Ooh, little baby. Look at you. What is your problem? Well, it's probably the smallest one I've found all year. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt him either. He's just gonna go back in there. I wonder where his mama's at. Probably somewhere over here, I would think. Excuse me, was just barking. Over here somewhere. He's right here. I think he's treed on this tree. But he's right around here. I bet a squirrels. Cause squirrels like to just like get something to eat, like acorn or something and just like walk these dang big um 
you know, falls like that. I bet he's in that big tree to squirrel. It's summertime and it's all green and I can't really see up there, so. But, it's tree dog. Good dog. Well, just must treat a couple more squirrels that I just kind of been sitting on the train tracks, letting them run around. Um, it's not like it's getting late, but I am gonna head back just cause I do have um a little bit of homework to do. It's like uh Wednesday, so I got well actually a lot of homework, but I'm gonna go back to the house and I might write up grab my crawdad traps and ride up um, on a hunting club and put them out in some ditches and uh, tomorrow we'll check them to see what's in them. So uh, catch you guys back for the trip. Come on, Gizmo. Come on, good buddy. Come on. Good boy. Get in there. Come on. No. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good dog. Alright, guys. So, we're up on the hunting club on this little pond thing. And, um, I'm not going to set my crawdad trap in here, but I thought I'd show you guys this. There's a bunch of brim and catfish in here. A bunch of turtles. And uh, this summer, we'll be cast netting around in here once summer actually comes. And um, um, I'm out of school. Me and my friends are out up here on the hunting club all the time. Why is there a bunch of grass in here? But we're going to be setting my crawdad trap over there. Um, I got all that wire because I don't want to get down in that ditch. Dog food, which is all you need to catch crawdads, and then we're gonna catch a fire into my thing. Oh, I didn't bring my clip. Oh man, but I'll just tie it. It's fine. I figured out. But yeah, we get this set up, and then I'll catch you guys when I'm about to throw it up. All right, so I got forgot my clip. I just kind of tie it on there. So we're actually gonna throw it out. Fun fact. So, I, some old guy told me this. Um, there's a culvert or a, like a pipe over there. And somebody told me that if you sit, because um, crawdads like to sit in them pipes. So, if you throw a crawdad trap out, <coughs> if you throw a crawdad trap out beside a, like a culvert, or I think that's what they're called, but by a pipe, that you'll catch a bunch. Cause I thought I was just in those pipes, so I'm gonna get it out because I need my two hands and I'll catch you guys right. Alright, you can see my string goes all the way down there. We got the um crawdad trap set. So I'm gonna go back home and um because you gotta leave crawdad traps overnight. Overnight is when you're gonna catch them. They're gonna go in there overnight. And um Yeah, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow once I get uh home from school. I will um hop back in the truck. Right down here, and I'll catch you guys. Bruh. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow afternoon. Check this out, guys. There's a mama turkey right over there. With her babies right in the grass over there. Hold on, let me see if I can get out. She's right like, over there. She's got her baby. She'll come out and probably try to scare me off. Hey, mama. I don't know if you guys can see. You can probably see the grass moving. 
you can probably hear a little babies. She's just right there. Somewhere around there. Oh, 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 oh. There she is. Hey, Mama Dirty. She will attack me. So I do not want to. Look, there's, there's my little baby. See him? I don't know if you can, but her little babies are right there. It's pretty cool. She would normally fly off and be really scared of me if she wouldn't have, didn't have them babies because she she's gonna protect them at all costs. Look, see them? See the little babies? Baby turkeys are like so cute. One, two, three, four. Five, I see another one coming out. He didn't cross the road yet, but he's running along. I think there's only five. But that's pretty cool. Alright guys, we're back out home back out here the next day. Um hopping to S ten and uh we're gonna we're gonna go check the crawdad trap, so see you guys on the hunting club. Alright guys, we made it. We got the little pond thing over there and then we got our crawdad trap. Should be right over here in this ditch. Yep, there's the wire. Let's pull it up. See what we if we got in this thing. So we only caught three. There's one, two, three. So uh, we're gonna take these guys home to put them in the pond on my house, behind my house, just because I need to stock it with crawdads and for the uh, bass to eat. So we're gonna actually take these guys home. Um, I think this will be the end of the video, guys. And uh, I had an idea. So. If y'all would like for me to, like, find, like, a, some kind of big kind of tub and, like, to have, like, a, to have a, um, like, a crawdad, like, enclosure, like, a little aquarium, like, crawdad aquarium, I don't know how I would do it. I used to have one. I used to have a little old deep freezer that I used to have a bunch of fish and crawdads in, and my dad ended up throwing it away. So, if you guys would like to see that, I'll try, I would try to figure it out and make it and we could just do like little updates on them and stuff so little backyard like, pool pond type of thing so if you guys would like to see that um actually that would be a good idea because i do have some ducks after they get old enough where they can swim in the pond i'll take their little pool and i can make like a little pool pond so yeah so if you guys would like to see that com just comment down below because uh, it'll probably end up happening um if you guys did enjoy this video, if you will, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.